Hey wonderful people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. In this episode, I'm about to do something different. Uh, I believe I haven't done many reviews like this or videos like this uh, in particular. But uh, today I'm about to do like uh, one, like uh, something very precious or something very different from what you usually sniff. So I, as you can see from title, I have uh, four fragrances I'm going to do initial impression of. And this is a sample pack, which I actually borrowed from one of my dear brothers. He actually wanted me to experience them and then see if I would like to review or just how I feel about them. So it's like Ari, Ali, Ari uh, Lador, I'm not sure how you say it properly, but here is a four sample pack, all the four fragrances in one. I think they come in like a nice packaging and uh, they come with uh, like each come with a card and every single fragrance has the notes breakdown, okay? So I believe these are extra perfume, so purest form of perfumes, and they come in like these, uh, inside these. You must have seen in, if you, if you follow this line, uh, you must have seen it in a uh, few gentlemen like uh, Perfume Guru, Nikhil Bhai, and if you must have seen like a uh, few other reviewers, Peter, and I think Mr. Oz, they are the ones who talk about this the most. So each uh, sample, they look like this, and I believe you can purchase the sample pack Perhaps it's out of the stock. So uh, the perfumer behind this is, as far as I understand, I could be wrong. I do not have so much knowledge on the history or the house, but I believe his name is Russian, uh, Russian Adam, and he is the creator of these beautiful creations. So I'll show you that they have pictures of the bottle on each, and I have applied them on different part of my hand. So I really like this sample, how they come. Let's, uh, with, there's not, not much else, but Ari Lador, it's like a, supposed to be a <clears throat> very premium, very expensive ingredients, some of the best ingredients used in perfumery. So 30 ml bottles, they come in, they come in about 200 something dollars. I think you can purchase it from their website. So if I get, uh, you guys can comment below those who have experience where to buy it from and how to get the sample pack, or you can contact brother Ashfaq, who is also in our group, Freckcom Bangladesh. So here we go. I think first one we go with is, uh, the first one actually i fell in love with absolutely i smelled all four okay and uh, honestly speaking you know some i did not get because my knowledge or my nose is not trained for so many of these notes that i never smelled before so i'm just going to tell you which one i liked initial i'm not going to go like best to worst worst to best just picking up randomly so first one i really love was malik al taif so this fragrance it's uh if you can see the bottle it's like this it comes in this kind of bottles and I believe the bottle is very pretty and the juice color is very dark, okay? So when I sniffed it from the atomizer first time, I knew I was in love with Thai Rose, okay? The rose itself is just hauntingly beautiful. I sniffed it from the atomizers, like let's say one of these. I'm gonna take a little bit time today because I chosen this particular time. It's about 5.30 in the morning, Azan is going on and it's very peaceful, no noise. I wanted to test them when there is absolutely zero noise because your mind has to focus uh, when you're sniffing something special and to understand it you have to be not distracted so this time everybody's sleeping i may go for a morning walk a little bit cool weather so i'm just showing you like i have seen all the reviews so far but they come with cap and the names i mentioned here okay malik al taif and when you open the cap you can sniff it from the atomizer and first time i sniffed it i did not get the full experience of it because i did not spray this okay i believe these are 1.5 ml samples i don't know i could be wrong but what I sniff from my the first initial uh, upon initial spray, I sniffed it twice. Okay, this fragrance has notes. Let me read you out the notes, and uh, let me tell you my honest thoughts about them. Malik Al Taif. It's explained as a legend, an untold story from a desert uh, oasis, uh, and romantic version of the Arabian Nights. Okay, top notes are Royal Taif Rose and Indian Rose. Heart notes are Indian Oud, Saffron, and Deer Musk Absolute. Base notes are Mysore Sandalwood, Amber Raisin, and Siam, Siam Benzoin. I think Sam is Benzoin. I think that's the note. So some of these notes, you know, like I told you about the Taif Rose. Taif is a very particular place where they have this rose. Every country has their own rose. After I sniffed it, I got really interested in uh, knowing about different kind of rose, like British rose, you know, like Spanish rose, uh, what you have in India, you know, locally Bangladesh. There are many kind of different kind of roses. So you have an perhaps also see the black rose also right so here they actually use interesting fact as far as I under, understood from brother Ashfaq he actually taught me a lot uh, so 
I had two sittings with him. I learned from about this rose notes. First thing he taught me is rose is a very volatile note. It does not stay. Natural rose fragrances wouldn't last on you for a very long time. So it's not a bee smoke kind of rose. But if you mix that rose with oud or something more uh, synthetic chemically kind of version or more designer like version, those will last a long time because those are artificial. Uh, the authentic like a natural rose oil won't last on you if it's perfume oil even it, it won't last on you much that's what i understood but with the royal type rose they also added the indian rose okay so i can relate a little bit of indian rose because we used to smell bombay rose before bombay rose are those big beautiful roses i don't see anymore it's like yellowish pink red kind of like a fluffy light sort of smell but it has a peppery like declaration don't swear that give me the peppery rose so i used to get that rose note uh, so I never get that rose, but Indian rose here in this, it's very lush. It's like really blooming. It's like I smelled uh, from Mother Ananda Mustafis, one of my dear brothers who lives in India, but from Bangladesh. He made me smell more than words by Jirchok. So since then, I felt that was also hauntingly beautiful. Some of the best roses been utilized in that. That one and this one, I fell in love absolutely. Then I told Brother Ashwag, brother, can I get, how much would it cost me if I get a full bottle because it's insanely expensive. For 30 ml, I think it's about 20, uh, I mean, 200 something dollars, which is expensive. But if you have a nose for something you really love, you would like to get a taste of it, right? So I'm thinking which one to get, this one or judge of more than words. So I'm still split, but what I really love about this is not just rose. It it, it has some other thing going on. To my nose, uh, I'm, it's not exact comparison, but let me show you. I smelled black to black, which has rose. They also have some spices and some uh, cloves, also smell before. I'm not saying the same quality. Uh, Black Prestigium, this has a dark rose, dark oud. So it kind of reminds me of those. So I could pick up a little bit of, I don't know, I smell a little bit of uh, either cardamom or cloves from it. I don't know why, but <laughs> I just get it. And the Indian oud, the oud is going to pop up later. Saffron and deer musk. So I never smelled real musk before. I just did the one time, okay? From the city with Brother Ashwak, he brought me real deer musk. I smelled it. I'm like, I could actually truly imagine an animal. So it has, on the dry down, it goes pretty much there. But the thing is, I think the rose pretty much is the uh, star of this. So rose, oud, saffron. Those are the nose that I, my nose picks up because that's my nose. That's how my nose is trained. And the base note, the sandalwood, I think Nikhil Bhai talks about Mysore sandalwood, which is a real sandalwood. Rest of them are not real sandalwood and they're synthetic and whatnot. I watch, but I never did so much thorough research. So whatever my overall expression, despite all the notes and beautiful bottle here, uh, I think this is one fragrance. I think it's uh, something that you need to explore. This fragrance I wouldn't recommend blind buying. Perhaps you can get sample and give it a sniff. Beautiful. If you see these rose petals, you know, beautiful it's just it's just lush rose if you love if you're a lover of rose and if you want to get next level of declaration dun soir or amouage lyric man give it a try it's a very luxurious kind of a rose smell i really love it it's a 10 for me okay i might get a full bottle of it i love it that much you know this is heaven <laughs> okay so uh, i am just uh, let you know my frank opinion what i got to my nose my nose is not really trained so yeah <laughs> second one yeah Second one perhaps is even more favored than Thai Rose. Thai Rose, it's like Malikal Thai is great. It's great. It give it ten. But imagine something is little above A. That is A plus. Okay. What I'm smelling in my hand, it's absolute Jannah. When we call it Jannah, means a heaven. Okay. Heaven means uh, you are in heaven. <laughs> that is called uh, Kohinoor. I think this one is uh, in collaboration with Brother Nick Hill, and I'm. Pretty sure he'll be watching at some point. This is my most favorite in the line. Apart from the, it's like a very, uh, Malikal type is a very second close, uh, close second. And this is my first, okay? My most favorite above Malik Ta Al Taif is this one. Why? Let me tell you the story of this. Uh, Kohinoor bottle looks like that very posh sort of presentation comes in like a makmal. You know, you call it makmal. It's, I think it's a uh, velvet, very precious uh, boxes and bottle looks really pretty. So, I believe the bottle design used to be different, now it's new. So Kohinoor is a huge animalic floral oriental that came to life in collaboration with Nikhil. Yes, here you go, Perfume Guru, also known as Perfume Guru. So he's the reviewer and also worked in collaboration with uh, Brother Russian Adam, okay? And he perhaps not didn't work uh, in terms of blending it as far as I saw, as far as I remember. 
but he was sort of like again called creative director <laughs> uh, so so in a way that he was working in collaboration he was involved so his thoughts went in, in his love you know he's, he's it's this one his partly his baby so the top notes are wild siberian deer musk here we go deer musk wild siberian deer musk indonesian lemon lemon distilled by russian adam so that's what you don't see every time like this kind of notes indonesian lemon distilled by russian adam heart notes you get ilang ilang gardenia jasmine champaka huge notes breakdown uh, patchouli tonka bean 30 year old indian wood notes notes galore and mysore sandalwood and distilled by also russian adam okay base notes you get benzoin crude amber tuberose attar and jasmine sambac absolute so absolutely rich uh, notes mashed in this one if you cannot compare this fragrance with like your typical western designer fragrances what i smell from it let me tell you my experience i smell heaven man this if this is deer musk i would like to pet a deer <laughs> you know just to smell his musk <laughs> i'm so stupid i'm just being silly but what i really get in the opening is just really lovely it's just like i can imagine kohino resin like the, the, the hira the diamond um, that was pressure that's very precious stone as well as i can imagine shah jahan and mumtaz in taj mahal that's why that's how i feel rose garden surrounded and you know like there's like nice sort of fan going on back in the time you know it's relaxed this is very royal and regal sort of perfume so mysore sandalwood it's one of favorite notes of uh, my brother nikhil and i think the other the opening i think i really enjoyed the deer musk and that lemony sort of combo it's very milky like you know it's like very uh, rich something you want to drink perhaps something like almond milk you want to drink right so those are really beautiful notes and slowly they're gonna go to different direction and i think the florals will start popping in it's very beautiful floral fragrance and kohinoor is a name from india okay so it's either a lady or the name of the diamond so either way it's a lady it's a lady all right so is it something you can wear as a man i think so i think you can if you like the likes of uh, the great chanel number no. five it somehow i can get hints of it like chanel number no. five is not as uh i mean that one is beautiful in its own way it's like some somewhere from europe i believe but this one you can tell that the traces are back in india where you think of big elephants and stuff you know it's like something a safari or something like uh, i don't know uh, what is the word i'm looking for something exotic okay and this is what i get from it it's just very beautiful it's just really beautiful to wear it's it if a lady wears this i'll be following her everywhere okay so the gardenia jasmine champaka champaka i haven't done my research i don't know what that is but whatever these uh oud in this on the dry down it will pop up after that initial beauty of florals gone the oud slowly will take over slight bit on my skin at least okay that's how it works so i think yeah sweetness yeah as i was talking about benzoin yeah that's that's probably what's giving the sweetness from the base so yeah it's an excellent performer for fragrances it lasts longer than malik altaif okay and i really like the bottle design of it it's really lush i'm gonna give it 11 out of 10 it's a plus in this line next what do i smell next there are two left and one of them i really found very exotic if you're talking about exotic this is as exotic as it gets i think we'll talk about that last let's talk about baikal greece i think i am saying that right well it sort of sounds like boikal boikal means in our area is like afternoon after 2 p.m so boikal baikal grease i think it's something to do with amber grease perhaps it's taken from there and this is how the bottle looks this is one fragrance i did not understand okay i'm not gonna say that oh i didn't like it, it didn't work with me no i'm gonna show respect because this fragrance definitely a lot of research going on a lot of number of months research and hard work gone up gone in this one so let me read a rich poetic tribute to baikal should have done my research what is baikal it's i guess it's some sort of ambergris okay top notes are Rus russian far balsam violet leaf gray indian ambergris yes i was right so it's indian ambergris and ambergris basically you know you guys know that it's whale vomit that is collected from sea and it's uh, kind of sounds disturbing but that's how it is so it's used it's like you know like some of the caviar you know the like most expensive uh, food to eat something like that or truffles you've been using burger or something it's very difficult to find and let's say something like a saffron which is very difficult to extract and it's a lot of florals they give very little saffron so those make it more precious even wood really expensive in the world more precious than gold so heart notes it goes like old mysore sandalwood uh, resinoid 
extracted by Russian Adam. I do not know what this one is. Vanilla Grey Indian Ambergris. So Grey Indian Ambergris in the top note and heart note. Base notes goes like Tonka Bean, Fossil Amber. Exotic notes. Cypress, I know Cypress, Cedar Root, Oak Moss and Nag Nagarmota. I think it's supposed to be, yeah, it's uh, Nagamota. Okay, so this is the nose breakdown and this is in my hand here. Okay, I'm going a little bit hiding. I don't want to show you my real expression. Oh, this, this hand is, sorry, this is, this is the next one, sorry. It's here, it's in this hand. Okay, this smells to me, to my nose, green, okay? And I guess it's the nature, the earthiness of the uh, ambergris. I think real ambergris, I never smell because it's so expensive, like just the genuine raw uh, ambergris. It's gonna be so expensive. I don't think anybody carries that. But even a hint of it, if I smelled it, I would imagine it's going to be earthy. It's going to be something like you eat uh, mussels or let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, something seafood like, you know, like if you go to a seafood section, whole food that comes to you, like it's uh, salty. It's something like a sea. Uh, you can eat fish and you can tell it's a sea fish because it got, contains a lot of salt. Okay. To me, it's coming to me like <sighs> fresh. It reminds me a little bit of Greek fragrance because they use... I believe synthetic compound of amber, ambergris, but they say ambergris, so I'm thinking that one is ambroxan. But this one smells like a, a different thing. It's very mature. It's a kind of like a little bit animalic too. But it's it's very difficult to explain. This is very complex perfume, you know, and the dry down it changes over time. And I think this is gonna be more for mature crowd. It's gonna be really like a accurate taste. This is something perhaps I did not understand. But this is nonetheless, it's very precious fragrance. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that. So violet leaf, uh, these far balsam, this is something I do not usually wear, these notes. But you can give it a try if you're not fan of, big fan of ambergris. So this one I'm not gonna rate because I did not understand it yet, but just introducing you. Okay, this is called Baikal Grease. That leads me to the last one. This is gonna be a long video, but there are four fragrances I try to do video of, right? So last one is gonna be the most, uh, anticipated one everybody looks forward to and they are interested in this one it's called Oud Luwak or Oud Luwak sorry my my bad Oud Luwak what is Oud Luwak <laughs> if you've seen the other videos other reviews the reviewers told you uh, Russian Adam actually uh, like he utilized the note of coffee Luwak Luwak coffee which is uh, something that I think it's specially breed you know like an animal and they're being they're eating the what do you call the coffee beans and the poop <laughs> it's very interesting and it's i think in indonesia where is it being produced it's most expensive coffee in the world so once the poop it's supposed to be reducing the acidity or something i did not did do my study as you can see but in short this these uh what are these animals hold on yeah sorry i remember i forgot that time uh, i don't remember i saw is the civet cat okay so these cats actually these animals if you go to google or even if you see youtube how they make coffee luwak I think you're gonna see these uh, uh, cats. They're gonna be civet cats. They're given only diet of uh, these uh, coffee beans, and they chew and um, 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 they eat, and then they poop. The poop means they, you know, they extract. So when they do that, they collect it, and then they do that coffee. Uh, like it's very distinctive taste. I can tell, but I never tried it. I would like to go to Indonesia and try that one, because I believe in exotic things. If if it tastes good, why not? So here is where the coffee luwak is, and let me tell you one thing. I'm dropping the card for a while. This fragrance is the most unique <laughs> and most uh, creative, most original fragrance that I smell. If you love coffee, and I forget about Luwak or forget about the butt of the civet cat, forget about the poop. If you love coffee, this is the best coffee-based fragrance I sniffed today, till today. Okay, there are perhaps a lot of other cafe rose I, I sniffed, but I maybe yet to sniff a lot more premium ones that has note of coffee, but hands down, you know, like, the beauty of this fragrance is if you are sipping in coffee, let's say we're not with coffee luwak, just coffee, first thing in the morning or evening when it's raining, you're wearing this fragrance, God, this is so gorgeous. This is dark, ominous. Look at the bottle. It's dark juice. It's dark juice. It reminds me a little bit of black afghano, even though smells are different, but black afghano gives you that sort of woody, dark, uh, leathery sort of, uh, not leathery, but it's kind of like a, some uh, dark juice. It's very dark, uh, black afghano. This fragrance make me feel it's even darker. It has, it doubled up on the dark note of black afghano. 
So Oud Luwak is Oud perfume featuring the finest aspect of authentic, rare, wild Oud from Papua, Papua New Guinea. Top notes are Coffee Luwak, the coffee I was talking about, Sinking Sumatra Agar Oud Smoke Infusion. Not going to pretend like I know what's going on here because I am a student. I need to go to those classes to learn what these notes are. And hard notes you get, uh, okay, I cannot pronounce this. Maro K well, Marke Noir Oud well. This is exotic to me. M A R O K E, Maroc, Noir Oud Oil. Okay, Spike. Oh my God, I cannot pronounce this. This is very difficult. Carrot seeds and nutmeg. Those two I know. Base notes you have Indian Oud, Indonesian Vetiver Absolute, Cedar Root, and Sumatran Benzoin. So this is even like reading out the notes is difficult, but uh, I can smell the perfume. It's so dark. There's something like it's it's coming like something imagine something brown not really, really black if i can imagine a brown color that is like co co cocoa powder instead of coffee it's, it's it's kind of like if you smell milo before powdered milo imagine that you mix it with cocoa before you make hot chocolate you sniff that powder you know this is what i get from this it's so powdery thick aromatic sort of a oud that is uh, giving you sort of coffee oud combo right and it's absolutely delicious let me open the thing and then let me sniff it from here. I am getting some of the notes as the dry down is going on, but hold on. Yeah, Oud Luwak. Oud Luwak, okay. So let me sniff it up top and top notes. Oh man, it's it's, it's even uh, more, a uh, little bit hint of animal. You can actually, you know, like uh, imagine the civet cat. It's the coffee is there, but the opening it's a little bit more wet compared to the dry down. I mean, it, it makes sense. So you spray it first, it's wet, then it goes dry down, it becomes dry. But I'm not. That's not what I'm trying to say. It smells a little bit more uh, oily. You know, a little bit more uh, skanky, if I can say the skank or stink of that uh, coffee. It's a little bit different than what's on the hand. I think I like the dry down a little bit better. Dry down becomes really complex, you know, it becomes really dark. If you really like dark fragrances, I think Oud Luwak is something you can look for. This is perhaps the um, like uh, most daring bowl fragrance, really expensive too, but here you go, the Oud Luwak, the, the coffee Luwak, you know, that one is really expensive too. So if you're using that note, utilizing that note, it's going to be expensive. So basically what I'm telling you, it's the dark fragrance. It has Oud, it has coffee. I'm picking up those notes and apart from those, Perhaps uh, vetiver a little bit, yeah, maybe it's, but I cannot tell you yet. It's just, it's a splitting, you know, in the dry down, it's just going out, like the notes are coming off and then there's just this, the branches are expanding sort of. So I need to test them more. So this initial impression, so I'm telling you, this is a dark, kind of like a rich, the sweetness of coffee is here. And this is perhaps also another 10. Okay, so these three, uh, wrapping it up. Malikal Taif, the first one, Malikal Taif, I give it 10. The second one, I say Kohinoor. This one, I gave it 11 out of 10. This is something maybe I'll buy ahead of uh, Malikal Taif, even though I love Taif Rose, but something about Kohinoor just took me away. Yeah, it's something that's for me, I have that subcontinent sort of uh, uh, roots, so I guess it's pulling me towards it. So, uh, you know, Nikhil Bhai, you are winning. So you actually, <laughs> you know magic. So yeah, this one I'm giving 11 out of 10. Uh, Coffee Luwak, no sorry, Oud Luwak, this one. I'm giving it also 10 for the quality. Just the one I did not understand is Baikal Grace. Amber Grace is not my forte, but this is something I'm going to need to explore more. But the whole line, the four fragrances, they are pricey, uh, but they're not just pricey. They are, uh, I would say, exotic, precious, rare fragrances. They are not making this in a huge amount bulk amount out there they're not making it as a commercial product yes these are commercial up for sale but not a money grab this is from the heart this is from love these are built with love right so these are my limited number of <laughs> expressions that i have but uh, thank you so much Ashfaq bhai for letting me experience this i perhaps will uh, sit with you one other day and we'll talk about this more and i'll learn more from you and i'll do full-on review maybe you'll get one bottle and then We'll talk about that bottle one day in a collaboration. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for always showing me the love. And I'll talk to you soon. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye.